Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 44.82 acre ranch in Southern Colorado. This property has electricity, telephone, internet, and county road frontage. This is a parcel highlighted here in green. It's 44.82 acres. So along the entire eastern boundary, you have 751 feet of frontage along County Road 122. This is a photo looking south along County Road 122. And here you can see there are electricity lines and poles already in place. This is the 44.82 acres here to the east. And then this is looking north along County Road 122. There are also underground telephone and internet lines in place. And the property was recently surveyed and staked. Here we are zoomed in on the survey. You can see it's tracked 52B, 44.82 acres, and there is the frontage measurement along County Road 122. So it's 751.43 feet. And then the length of the property running east to west is 2,597.15 feet along the north boundary and 2,595 feet in length along the southern boundary. The elevation is around 5,850 feet with gently rolling terrain. If we go back to the interactive map and zoom out a little bit, you can see just to the east here, all of this yellow shaded area, this is all BLM land. This is 6,000 acres of BLM land. And you have the Cucheris River and Canyon all through this BLM land here. You can see from the satellite image where the river and canyon run. And then if we turn on the topographic map and we zoom in here, you can see this peak elevation over here is about 5,800 feet as you near the edge of the canyon. And then down near the river, the elevation is around 5,300 feet. So you have about a 500 foot change in elevation, which creates these dramatic views. And these are actual photos of the 6,000 acres of BLM land with the river and canyon just to the east of the property. Here you can see the river flowing through and winding around. There are the rock formations, rock outcroppings the dramatic change in elevation, lots of trees. This area is desirable for hiking, hunting, recreation, horseback riding. Wildlife in the area include bighorn sheep, elk, mountain lion, white-tailed deer. And if we zoom out a little further, you can see that over here to the west, all this green shaded area, this is the San Isabel National Forest. You have tens of thousands of acres of BLM land over here. You have state parks and state wildlife areas. This is the Lathrop State Park. It's about 1,600 acres. There's two lakes at the Lathrop State Park. This is the town of Walsenburg, about 3,200 population. You're only about 40 minutes to the town of Walsenburg. In Walsenburg, you'll find medical care. There's a hospital in Walsenburg, multiple grocery stores, building supplies, professional services. And then down to the south, you have the city of Trinidad, which has a population around 10,000. Over here is the Trinidad Lake and the Trinidad Lake State Park. And then just to the north, only about an hour from the property, you have the city of Pueblo. Pueblo has a population around 110,000. So pretty much anything you need, you can find in Pueblo. And this is the Lake Pueblo State Park. Lake Pueblo is about 4,600 surface acres. So within a short distance from the property, about an hour from the property, you have four lakes for your enjoyment, along with all these amazing mountains and public land. So you have an endless amount of outdoor recreational opportunities. This is a Google Earth terrain view, and here we are south of the property looking north. This is County Road 122. It curves right here and then goes north. And then this is the 751 feet of frontage along the entire east boundary. And over here to the north-northwest is Pikes Peak, so you can actually see Pikes Peak from the property. As we start to turn counterclockwise, you can see Greenhorn Mountain and the San Isabel National Forest. Now we're east of the property looking west. If we pull back a little bit, you can see all of the diverse terrain of the Cucheris River and Canyon. And again, this is 6,000 acres of BLM land for your enjoyment. Here we have Sheep Mountain. This is Mount Lindsay and Blanca Peak. Blanca Peak is an elevation of over 14,300 feet. It is the fourth tallest peak in the entire Rocky Mountains. If we turn towards the southwest, we have Silver Mountain, Mount Mestis, and Rough Mountain. These are the Spanish Peaks, which you can see from the property. This is the Sangre de Cristo Mountain Range. And now we're north of the property looking south again. There's County Road 122 along the entire east boundary. And now we're west of the property looking east. And there is the Cucheris River and Canyon in that 6,000 acres of BLM land. If we zoom in close and look towards the south center portion of the property, you can see these rock formations here with these clusters of trees, which you can see in the property photos as well. So here are the rock formations that we just looked at and the clusters of trees. 
And here's another photo looking at the rock formation clusters of trees. Here you can see those again. Over here behind the clouds you have Greenhorn Mountain. And then here we have the Spanish Peaks and the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. Several of the neighbors have developed their properties to varying degrees, which are represented here by these white circles. Some landowners just have a storage shed or corral. Others have a home with multiple accessory buildings. This neighbor to the southeast has a nice metal building on their property. Well, this neighbor has a nice stucco home with a clay tile roof. And here we are looking at some of the satellite images for these properties. And here we are showing you the directions to Walsenburg, which is about 40 minutes from the property. This is almost all county road and then paved State Highway 10. Walsenburg is the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. Walsenburg has a population around 3,200. Again, there's the hospital in Walsenburg, the Colorado State Veterans Home, there's specialty medical clinics. Here's the building supply store, multiple grocery stores. Main Street in Walsenburg where you'll find shopping and dining. It's a K through 12 public school, golf course. And you're only about 48 minutes to the Lathrop State Park. Again, the Lathrop State Park is about 1,600 acres. There's two lakes at the Lathrop State Park where you can enjoy fishing, boating, water sports, hunting, and other types of recreational activities. There's a trail map for the Lathrop State Park. You're just a little over an hour to the Bedito Cone, Greenhorn Mountain, and the San Isabel National Forest, which is highly desirable for hunting, hiking, and outdoor recreation. About an hour and 11 minutes to Trinidad. Again, Trinidad has a population around 10,000. Pretty much anything you need you can find in Trinidad, including a Walmart Supercenter. About an hour and 17 minutes to the Trinidad Lake State Park. Again, the Trinidad Lake is 800 acres. About an hour and 22 minutes to Pueblo. Pueblo has a population around 110,000. So pretty much anything you need you can find in Pueblo. And then just west of Pueblo, you have the Lake Pueblo State Park. Again, Lake Pueblo has 4,600 surface acres. You're just two hours to Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has a population around half a million. And then you're just three hours to Denver. Denver. Denver and the surrounding metropolitan area have a population of over a million. There's an international airport in Denver. We have this 44.82 acre ranch with county road frontage, electricity, telephone, internet, amazing mountain views, close to the 6,000 acres of BLM land with the diverse terrain, the river and canyon, priced at only 349 all the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are only $20 a year, and there's just a $200 a year assessment that goes to maintain the 26 miles of private roads throughout the area. The minimum dwelling size for a site-built home is only 1,200 square feet, and then only 1,000 square feet for double-wide manufactured or mobile homes. You can have accessory buildings, barns, corrals, workshops, guest home. You can use the property recreationally, seasonally, or live there full-time. There's no time limit to build, so you can keep the property vacant as long as you like, or you could start building immediately. Here we have all the information on the distances to the nearby points of interest and links where you can find more information about those locations. Here we have the GPS coordinates and links where you can open up the GPS coordinates on a Google map. We have over 130 images in this interactive map. If this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then click Checkout. Once you click Checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information and continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been received. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. As soon as you place the deposit, this Buy Now button changes to Out of Stock. Only one person can place a deposit on a property. We only have one of these properties to sell, and we sell our properties on a first-come, first-served basis. So if this property does fit what you're looking for, we highly recommend you place a deposit to secure the property while it's available. Your $499 deposit is then credited towards your purchase, and we cover all of the closing costs. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple, and it can be completed as little as a day. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website, that number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have this live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message. We'll respond to you at our next availability. We also have this contact form here on our website where you can fill this out and send us a message, or you can just email us directly. Our email address is hello at Landio.com. If you've been following Landio for a while now and watching our videos and visiting our website, we want to thank you for your continued support. If this is your first time 
seeing one of our videos, looking at one of our properties, or visiting our website. We want to welcome you to the family. And if you have any questions about us, you can go over here to this About tab. You can learn more about Landio and the opportunities that we offer. You can see video testimonials from just a handful of our many, many, many happy customers around the United States and some even outside the United States. And it would truly be an honor to welcome you to the Landio family of happy customers and that you would feel so compelled by the service you receive that you would provide a testimonial as well. Thank you and God bless.